Hey there, Photo Universe. Okay, here's a quick tip for you. Um, this is an Epson 4880 printer, and if you have uh, an Epson 4880, um, and I'm pretty sure this can apply to other Epson Pro level printers that have maintenance tanks, if you want to reduce your uh, clogging, if you have clogging issues, if you live in a dry environment, that can happen, and that's a key right there. Um, I picked this uh, tip up um, from an Epson technician because I, when I moved to Eastern Oregon, it was a very dry desert environment. And, um, and even my 4880 was uh, clogging up, you know, if I, don't print, if I didn't print with it every six weeks or so, the, I would get some clogging. And um, basically what you want to do is this. So that's a uh, mason jar, and that's a quart of plain old, ta uh, not a quart, um, that's a, a one cup of plain old tap water and about every four, three to four months or so you want to pull out the maintenance tank which is here. This maintenance tank is pretty full. It's getting to the point where it needs to be replaced. Um, the computer will tell me when it is. Um, it's probably at about 20% capacity left. You just take um, about a cup of plain old tap water, pour it right into the maintenance tank like that and it will soak into the to the tank. You want to do this about every three or four months and just put the maintenance tank right back in the printer. Now the principle behind this is that what happens is when you turn your printer off the print head parks over the maintenance tank and uh, the, what Epson was trying to do with that is have the waste ink create more of a moist environment, a humid environment to keep the print head from clogging. And if you live in a very dry environment, so, so that would be a normal operation in a 50% humidity environment. Um, well, I'm assuming that the engineers had a range, right? Let's say 40 to 60% humidity. Well, if you, you know, in, in Eastern Oregon, I was in a, uh, in the wintertime, it was 10%, 5% humidity. Um, so the, main, so the uh, technician said just, you know, if you have any clogging problems at all, Put a cup of water in there every three or four months. If it's really dry in the wintertime, you might want to do it every two months. Use common sense. Obviously, if the maintenance tank is totally saturated with water, you don't need to put any in. Um, there's no harm, no foul. The computer has no idea you just did that, so it's not going to shorten the life of the maintenance tank. And uh, uh, as a matter of fact, this printer is not even on. The, printer, the computer in the printer doesn't even know I just did that, but it will significantly reduce any clogging problems. And, and this has really worked. So uh, that's Photo Universe for today. This was a quickie on how to keep your Epson Pro printer from clogging. I, I'm pretty sure any Epson Pro printer where the print head parks over the maintenance tank, this is going to work on. Um, I've only done this with the 4880, and it has significantly reduced any clogging problems. So, um, the, you know, I, I can definitely endorse this for the 4880. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you have a 4800, I'm sure it would work. Um, whatever. Okay. So that's it with Photo Universe. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye.